In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to save your card website to draft, an essential skill for anyone looking to perfect their online presence before going live. Let's dive into the process and make sure you feel confident about saving your work correctly. Firstly, as you finish designing your website and are satisfied with its look and feel, head over to the card editor. You'll notice a publish button prominently displayed. This is your gateway to sharing your creative work with the world. However, we're holding off on that for now because we first want to save it as a draft to review later. Next, you'll be prompted to enter a title and a description for your website. This isn't just an arbitrary step. These elements play a significant role in how your site will be presented in search engine results and browser tabs. So take a moment to craft these carefully, ensuring they succinctly and accurately reflect the content and purpose of your site. Once you've set your title and description, you'll need to make an important decision regarding your domain. Card offers the option to use either a free card subdomain or a custom domain. If you're just getting started or aren't ready to commit to a custom domain, opting for the card subdomain is an excellent choice, but if you have a unique branded domain in mind, setting this up now will ensure your draft matches your long-term vision. Now here's the critical part. Although the publish button might be calling your name, you're going to choose a different path. Look for the save as an online draft option. By selecting this, you're creating a safe space where you can revisit and refine your website without the pressure of it being live immediately. This option is perfect for those who want to make iterative improvements or for a team who wants a more collaborative edit process before hitting that publish button. During this process, keep in mind that saving as a draft doesn't mean your work is finalized. It's an opportunity to take a step back, gather feedback and make any necessary tweaks. And remember, since this draft is saved online, you can access and edit it from anywhere as long as you have internet access. By now you should see how saving your card to a draft provides flexibility and peace of mind, knowing you can work on your masterpiece at your own pace without rushing its public release. So there you have it. You're now empowered to save your card site to a draft efficiently. Thank you for joining me today as we explored this key skill. Don't forget to check out other tutorials for more in-depth guidance on bringing your online creations to life. Happy designing!